Hi viewers, welcome back to Nursing Simplified. In today's class, we are going to discuss about Lokia. What is Lokia? Lokia is the vaginal discharge for the first fortnight after delivery. What is this term of fortnight means? It is 14 days. So that is like the bleeding after delivery for the first 14 days we term it as Lokia. So this local discharge is going to be normal for all the postnatal mothers if it is going to be till 14 days and if it is going to extend 2 or 3 days but not more than that. So this lochia can be divided into 3. Lochia rubra, ro, lochia cirrhosa and lochia alba. So first we will see the color and the reaction of a local flow. So what is the normal color and the reaction? See normal color and odor of lochia is nothing but it is going to be a fishy offensive odor. So whenever you enter a postnatal ward, you are going to get a very bad fishy smell inside the ward. It is because of the local discharge and whatever the pads that they discard and all those things are going to give that fishy offensive odor in the puperial period. Okay, And the reaction that is the reaction of the vaginal area is going to be alkaline in nature. So which is going to turn acidic as the days are going to pass by. Okay, So that is your normal odor reaction of the local flow. And now when we come to this types or the local uh, colors, we have these three colors of rubra, cirrhosa and alba. Rubra is nothing but red in color. So lochia rubra is red in color and it is going to last for 1 to 4 days. That is for the first 4 days you are going to have lochia rubra where you are going to have blood, fetal membranes, decidua, vernix, lanugo and the meconium which is going to come out with this local flow. That is like as soon as the delivery is over, whatever that is remaining inside the uterus, it is going to get washed off. So that includes the blood of the mother, then the fetal membranes, bits of the fetal membranes which is remaining inside the uterus, then the decidual layers. So that and your lanugo, lanugo are the hair particles from the fetus and the uh, vernix and meconium. Next we have lochia cirrhosa. Lochia cirrhosa is the next period after the rubra that is like the, uh, like the bleeding phase has come down and the next phase has started. So usually the secretion is going to be yellow in color and which is going to last for 5 to 9 days. That heavy blood and the fetal membranes and all those things have been washed off in the first 1 or 2 days. So now in the cirrhosal period you are going to have decreased RBCs where you are going to have leukocytes, wound exudates, mucus and microorganism where you are going to permit a minimal amount of microorganism unless and otherwise the mother is going to exhibit symptoms of infection that is like fever, edema, like pain all those things are like the mother will complain of. So unless and otherwise she is going to complain you will not consider this as an abnormal thing. This is going to be a normal. That is your lochia serosa period is going to have these type of microorganism in a minimal amount and it is not going to cause any infection. See in case if the mother is existing with these symptoms then you commit as puperal sepsis. That is a separate topic. Then comes the lochia alba. So this flow is going to be from 10 to 15 days and it is going to be pale white in color. So nearly the uterus is washed off with the uh, all uh, like uh, the blood and the fetal parts everything is washed off. Okay. So now what is remaining is the only your deciduous cells, leukocytes, the mucus, cholesterol crystals, fatty and glandular cells with little amount of microorganisms. So that is with your lochia alba. So we have three of, uh, colors or the three sections of lochia 
Lochia rubra, Lochia cirrhosa, and Lochia alba. So these three things you have to remember. And next comes the amor. So the usual amor. For the first five to seven days, you consider the normal amount of bleeding is going to be 250 ml, where you consider it is going to be normal amount of bleeding. So how do you assess this amount of bleeding? So when you want to assess how much the mother is bleeding, what you do is like you give a pat to the mother and tell the mother like after one hour she has to show her pat again. So you will be assessing the amount of blood flow with the amount of bleeding that is present in the pat. Okay. So now you can categorize that as a scanty amount which is going to be very less that is like if it is the bleeding is going to be less than 1 inch you consider it is a scanty flow and in case if it is going to be less than 4 inch you consider as small amount of flow then if it is less than 6 inches you consider it is moderate amount of flow and if it is more than 6 inch it comes as heavy flow and in case if the pad is fully soaked if there is like fully soaked pad you consider it is an excessive flow of the lochia okay so this is a way you categorize whether the mother is having a normal flow of lochia or not whether you have to give some medical consideration that you have to assess using this area so usually you consider like one inch you think it is like one ml okay so like you will be considering this as the normal way of assessment of a pad and now the nurse's role so what does a nurse play during this area of lochia. So you are going to daily you are going to assess that is like in the early period you are going to do perennial care for the mothers you are going to assess how much is the lochia what is the odor of the lochia. So you have to see whether it is fishy which is going to be normal odor. So in case if it is going to be uh, very offensive you know like you can't tolerate the smell it indicates the mother is having infection so she is going for puperal sepsis you have to identify and then you have to assess for the amount so already i said you first in the beginning you consider around 250 ml is going to be normal because like the uterus have to be washed so like the washing nearly it comes around 250 to 300 ml which you consider as normal in case if this is going to prolong if this is going to exist for a long time then you have to remember that maybe bits of placenta are remaining bits of membranes are remaining inside the uterus which is causing bleeding again and again so you have to go in for reassessment then we have to assess the color of the Lochia. So you have to assess whether it is rubra, cirrhosa or alba. So according to the days you have to categorize. So if it is less than 4 days it can be rubra. In case if it is still 9 days it can be cirrhosa and after till 15 days you consider it is alba. So in case if the mother is going to have uh, yellowish discharge like around 3 days or 4 days then you consider uh, maybe you can suspect the mother is uh, becoming normal but in case if she is going to have lochia rubra around 10 days then you have to reassess the mother and then the duration so again you have to remember the number of days the mother will have the lochial flow according to the color so you have to remember Whenever you do a postnatal assessment, you have to assess the local part. So, local part is uh, a part of postnatal assessment. So, postnatal assessment, you have lot of contents in your postnatal assessment. So, lochia is a part of postnatal assessment where you will be assessing the color, amount, odor and the duration. So, this class was useful. You were able to understand the class. In case of any doubts, kindly comment in the comment box so that I can reply you. Take care. Have a nice day.